Good morning, everybody. It's Christ Kids time. I'm Pastor Katie, and I'm our children's and youth pastor. If you're a Christ kid or a Christ kid at heart, can you give me a big wave? Can you think of a food that might remind us of Jesus? Bread, that's right. What about a drink? Grape juice, very good. Bread and grape juice remind us of Jesus because of a special part of worship that we celebrate each month. Do you remember what it's called? Communion, that's right. Goodness, I'm really challenging your brains this morning. Excellent thinking. Today is World Communion Sunday. That means that Christians all over the world are celebrating communion today on the same day we are. That's pretty cool to think about, that people are eating the bread or the wafers and drinking the juice in all different countries. Everyone, think of a country, and on a count of three, let's all call them out. You ready? Think, think, think. Ready? One, two, three. Kenya! Those are excellent countries, and I bet there are people in all of those countries that you just called out sharing communion today. Pastor Morris is even preaching about communion today. He is reminding us why we celebrate communion together once a month here at Christ Church. So let's think about that. We know that God really meets us in our hearts when we take communion. We know that when we eat the bread and drink the juice, God really and truly comes to us to remind us of how much God loves us. We know that we all take communion together, right? And that anyone and everyone is welcome to share communion with us. And that is something that we all have in common all across the whole world. Finally, we know that communion reminds us of God's promises, that Jesus loves us and forgives us, and that one day we will all be reunited with Jesus. What a special part of worship we get to celebrate today and every month on Family First Sunday. This week, every time you eat some bread or drink any kind of juice, I hope it reminds you of communion and how much God's lo God loves each of you. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you so much for coming to us through the special time of communion. Help us remember how much you love us and forgive us and hope for us. We love you so much. Amen. Now, because it is Family First Sunday, we invite all kids over the age of four to stay in worship and receive communion together later on in the service with your families. We have an awesome kids bulletin for you at the worship wall or in the link being shared in the chat right now if you're at home. And Miss Crystal will have prizes after the service for anyone who does their very best in those kids bulletins. So you all work hard. Be sure to find her and show her your kids bulletin after the service. If you are a baby through four year old here in person, you can still meet your teachers in the gathering space um, to go and hear a story and then to be picked up in the nursery after worship. Parents, make sure your kids are checked in. All right, whether you're staying here in worship, at home in worship, or heading to the nursery, have fun.